Greetings, Magogonites, and welcome back. Today, we have a video of pure torment. Seriously, I don't think I can make it through this one alone. So I'm going to command the magic portal to choose someone to suffer with me. I don't care who, let the magic choose. And let the pain begin. Um, what the actual fuck just happened? Who the fuck are you, and why is this place so cluttered? Uh, greetings, Cartoon Bear. I am Magog. Magog? Magog. Mabog. Magog. <coughs> the fuck was that? Madog. Right. Well. <coughs> so what the fuck's going on, Magob? M Magod? Magod works too. Worship me! This, for your information, is not clutter. Everything is precisely where I need it to be. Neither you nor your beast can judge me, because you don't have a cool wizard tower. It is fucking cluttered. Look at all the books and skulls and candlesticks and shit you've got laying about. They're called magical artifacts. Some of them are called sex toys, but that is not the point. The point is, where we're about to go, we're gonna need all of it. So brace yourself, cartoon bear. This is gonna suck. It's me, Kathy Griffin. And I'm doing, um, what I call a State of the Union YouTube video. Yeah, this already reeks of failure and desperation. So, I hope you watch this on YouTube. It'll probably be about five minutes. State of the Union? What are you, the president of horse-faced lesbians? <laughs> Seriously, look at that snout. She looks like she could eat an apple through a fence. It's Saturday, November 18th, 2017. I kind of lose track because I'm on a world tour. No one cares. Fuck your world tour. All right, so what I want to address today is I'm getting a lot of online hate from trolls who think I've lost my mind. You have to have a mind before you can lose it. You were tragically born without a personality. And, um, I'm admitting I lost my mind. It's what made me a star in the first place. Star might be a bit of a stretch. You landed a supporting role in a Tom Hanks movie like 30 years ago. That's not Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin did that severed Trump head thing and is a woman. Honest mistake. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of time to be patient. And, you know, I read today that my pal Lena Dunham is sticking up for some male writer that was accused of sexual harassment. With friends like that, who the fuck needs enemies? And her female partner, Jenny Connor, who Judd Apatow handpicked for her, and nobody's ever handpicked anybody for me. No oh, boo-hoo, Kathy Griffin, always the victim. You don't much look like a victim to me. Expensive hotel, jet-setting all around the world, and apparently all the meth you could possibly have. <laughs> I mean, diet pills. You know, I don't know the details, but my first instinct is, girl, that's not helping the movement. The bowel movement. And it's a movement. And the sun is coming out of the clouds as I say that. Oh, who gives a fuck? So, you know, don't be too hard on Lena. Don't be too hard on me. I shall refrain from being hard on both of you. And that is a promise. And I promise absolutely nothing. Um, and I just want you guys to know I'm fully in the middle of a blacklist. Like, I am in the middle of a Hollywood blacklist. It is real. I am not booked on any talk shows. Oh, shut up. These talk shows already know that all you'll do if you're invited on is bitch and moan about how much of a victim you are. Go away. I'm selling tickets worldwide, which is really hard when you don't have any kind of a television platform and kind of nobody has your back and everyone thinks you're crazy. And um, I'm admitting I lost my mind, but a handful of people think I'm kind of on to something. So I just want you guys to know when I get home, I do not have one single day of paid work in front of me. I hear Walmart is hiring. 
And people that want me to go back and start in clubs and do 10 minutes again, I don't mean to be an asshole, but no, I'm not gonna do that. I've worked way too hard to go back and work for free and do the club scene again. I can relate. You'd have to pay me pretty well to get me to a club for your comedy show too. And I do mean to be an asshole. Because this is some bullshit. Exactly. Okay, my legal bills are through the roof, obviously, because I'm doing something I really believe in. And I still say the end goal is for younger women and younger LGBT folks or disenfranchised people of any kind can watch me survive and with a sense of humor. So your end goal isn't to help starving children or the homeless or something like that. Your end goal is to make sure people watch you survive. So brave. So brave. The Kathy Griffin pity party has begun. So I just want to say, like, I have a show tonight in Vienna. I never thought I'd be able to play Vienna. Oh, the oppression. She couldn't get a gig in Rome or Paris, so she had to settle for Austria. This poor suffering woman. Won't someone save her? Um, every single country I've played, I can't believe that there are hundreds, if not thousands of people that don't even speak English as their first language, as if I do. That's my opener. That is a shit opener. Um, and I'm very heartened by that. So, um, there is hope out there. Uh, there's a lot of forces coming against people like me that are trying to do something. Are you trying to make unbelievably cringy videos? Because this is the second cringiest video I've seen this week. I have particular tastes in porn. Okay, I prefer when women, preferably college age, but older is fine. I find the older I get, the more attractive older, woman lo older women look. But I prefer when women themselves using a webcam or, the, or their laptop or whatever set up and perform uh, solo acts themselves on camera and upload it themselves. You know, the amateur. You know, I don't know how amateur all of this is. Some of it could be shot to look amateur. Basically amateur porn of females masturbating. That's what I enjoy watching when it comes to porn. Whoa, that is cringy as fuck. Fucking weirdos, man. Squeak. I mean, look at Harvey Weinstein hired Kroll. By the way, Nick Kroll's dad started that company, Nick, so he doesn't have to worry about money. And some company called Black Cube to like follow Rose McGowan. So, you know, I'm kind of assuming I'm next. I'm already on the Interpol list and all this other stuff. So I don't want anybody else to have to go through this. Okay, she has lost the fucking plot. This woman is batshit. So watch me do it, hopefully with a plum and a sense of humor. And I'm on stage tonight at 8.30. I cannot wait to do my show. I only have seven more shows left on this tour, and I'm not going to lie. It's going to be hard. Yeah, it is going to be hard. But look, hopefully those seven audiences are made up of resilient people with a tolerance for depressingly cringy washed up clowns. When I go home and I don't have one show in my future. So no, I don't do, I know I'm being an asshole, but no, I don't want to do free shows. I don't want to do someone's 50 person club. I did that for decades. I think I should be able to get my life back. The desperation is so thick, I can taste it in the air. Self-entitled narcissist. You're a failure, Kathy. No one wants to give you money. You're not funny, and all you do is play the victim. Perhaps it's time for you to just fucking retire. So, I know I took a picture that offended a lot of people, but this wall of crap has never fallen on any woman in the history of America like it has on me. Oh, really? No other woman in all of American history. You self-serving dweeb. Fuck you for saying that. Any woman out there in America who's seen hardship should tell this cow to fuck off. So, and by the way, I know about Eartha Kitt, and I very much encourage you to look her up. Eartha Kitt spoke out against President Lyndon Johnson for sending young men to fight in the Vietnam War and was supposedly blackballed by the entertainment industry, causing her career to suffer. But even Eartha Kitt didn't have, like, Fox News. Eartha Kitt didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Although, by the way, I'm bowing down to Eartha Kitt and anyone else who's ever been blacklisted. So just, you guys, just try to have some compassion. I'm just trying to 
bring laughter to people. That's all I want to do. If there's anyone laughing at you, Kathy, it's not because you're funny. It's because you're an embarrassment. I wish I was on television. I have two Emmys. The fact that a talentless, self-entitled hack like yourself has two Emmys just proves that awards in Hollywood mean absolutely dick. Um, the Hollywood Reporter did a really cool cover about, like, not shutting women up, and that same publication disinvited me from hosting or doing the opening remarks of their famous annual breakfast. That's because you're not actually a woman. You're a seething harpy of hate and vanity, and a humorless ice queen. I still am so excited to hit the stage tonight, and I would love to be on a television show, and I want to be paid what the guys are paid. I've got no issue with you being paid what the ridiculously cringy, unfunny guys are paid. So that's where I'm coming from. <laughs> All right, so I hope you'll have some faith. I know my social media is getting a little crazy, but why not? And you know my new title, the mayor of Zero Fucksville, Zero. Who elected you mayor of Zero Fucksville? Because I sure shit didn't. You clearly give a lot of fucks, which makes you a terrible mayor. You kept on begging for a TV spot. It was so sad. And then you were bitching and moaning about money and not having work lined up. And you were playing the victim constantly. You clearly only care about yourself. Well... I say we give zero fucks about her first world problems. Let this train wreck of a woman disappear from our minds. I don't think I will have a career after this. I think okay. he, I think he, I think he, I'm going to be honest, he broke me. He broke me. He broke me. 69, now it's time for new believable people and we must do it. If we don't control insiders, this will be over and over. To lead by an any big fat love, find common ground to halt the spread of lies. And we must do it big fat love, find common ground to halt the spread of lies. And any America first, America first. I would now like to thank Baring for being forced to do this against his will. I am so happy he came by. I think we survived this video because we combined our great asshole powers. Isn't that right, Barry? We should get Dakota rings. <laughs> 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 well, thanks for dropping by my realm. Well, thanks for having me a against my will. It's time for you to go back to whatever hell you came from, Barry. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video about the cringy griffin lady. I didn't. See you next time. Recession, session! Demonetize, demonetize.